Let me welcome you to another TIBCO video tutorial. This is Jason Semiliano from Smarter Incorporated. In today's tutorial, I'd like to teach you how to create a simple web page using TIBCO Designer. Before we dive into that, let me just take a brief moment to thank all of our fans for sending us emails and comments telling us how much they appreciate these video tutorials and how much it has helped them in their growth as TIBCO developers and consultants. It is my hope that as you continue to learn more and more about TIBCO, you'll come to realize how powerful of a tool it really is in creating applications for your company. Continue to send us your comments because they serve as inspiration to me and motivates me to continue creating these tutorials to help you in your growth as a typical developer or consultant. So with that said, let us move right on into the tutorial. Let me show you how to create a web page using Tipco Designer. So please follow along with me. Open up your Smarter Tipco Tutorials Tipco Designer project that we created in a previous tutorial. Follow along with me and let us create a new folder underneath the business processes folder. Create a new folder. Name this one create web page. Click apply. Inside the create web page folder let us add a resource. We're going to add a process definition we're going to call this one hello world web page follow along with me click apply double click on the process definition what you'll do now is that you will add a resource and into the http palette you will see that there is an http receiver here add that select that and you'll see that your start activity disappeared and was replaced by an HTTP receiver. All right. You'll notice in the HTTP receiver activity that you need to put in an HTTP connection shared resource. You see this bolded field here? So that means we have to create that first before we can proceed. So follow along with me. Go into your shared resources folder. And underneath the connections folder, please create a new folder and call it HTTP. Underneath the HTTP folder, go to add resource into the HTTP palette and into the HTTP connection shared resource. That adds a new HTTP connection resource into that folder. I'm just going to rename this by taking away the space to be consistent with our previous naming conventions. In the host, I will leave that alone and, and just let it be localhost. In the port, I'm going to put port 80. We're going to use port 80, the default web port, when you surf the internet. Click apply and then save. So we now have an HTTP connection that we can use in our HTTP receiver in our process definition. Go back to the Hello World web page into the HTTP receiver activity. In the HTTP connection field, please click on the Browse Resources button here and select the HTTP connection that we just created right there. Once you've selected it, click OK. It's now in the field. Click Apply, and you're done with this activity. Let's move on and create the next activity. Follow along and right-click, Add Resource, HTTP, Send HTTP Response. That adds a new activity into your process called the HT Send HTTP Response. I'm going to connect them by putting transition lines in the send HTTP response I'm all I'm going to do here is indicate that I'm going to reply for the HTTP receiver and you all you have to do is select the HTTP receiver from the drop-down box in the input tab of the send HTTP response activity you'll notice that you need to provide content here 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep it really simple, a very simple web page that says hello world. Here's what I'm going to type. Follow along with me. I'm just going to put a little HTML tag here called the H1 tag. And then hello world. And then I'm going to close the H1 tag. For those of you not familiar with HTML, the H1 tag simply makes it a heading, a really big blob of text. So if you put H1 there, the hello world will be really big when you see it in the web page. So that's what we have in our ASCII content. Put that in. Click apply. Let's make sure all of our activities are nicely aligned. So I'm going to select all of them and click on the align top sides button. And then I'm going to validate, make sure that they're all ready to be executed. And they are. It says validation successful. Click OK. Now click Save. And let's go to the Designer Tester tab. Click on the Start Testing button here. That brings up the Select Process to Load dialog box. And so click on the Load and Start Current button. To start this process. Now it is waiting for a HTTP request to come in. So let's go ahead and send that request by going to follow along with me here HTTP colon slash slash local host. That's what we have in our HTTP connection. Click enter. And there you have it. There's your hello world. Notice that it's very big because we put in the H1 tag. This web page is served to you by the PW engine that just executed this process. So you see it executed from the HTTP receiver to the send HTTP response. And then the send HTTP response activity was responsible for sending out the data, the output, into the web page as you can see here. So there you have it. That's how you create a web page using TIBCO Designer. And wasn't that really, really simple to do? All you had to do was put in a couple of activities, configure them, create an HTTP connection shared resource, and you're done. Gotta love TIBCO for creating a wonderful product that increases developer productivity. So that's how you create a web page Using TIBCO Designer, I encourage you to play around with the other HTTP activities such as the send HTTP request, the wait for HTTP request. I encourage you to play around with those and learn more about those activities. For now, we have a mission accomplished. You just learned how to create a web page using TIBCO Designer. Again, this is Jason Semeliano from Smarter Incorporated. Thank you again for watching our TIBCO video tutorial. Please send us more comments because they serve as inspiration to our team to continue creating these video tutorials to help you in your growth. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Take care.